Hello, hello. Um, could come to do some um, something fun and something a little bit different for me today. Kind of, kind of different. So I created the botanical specimen um, kit. Um, we made made a few tags. I did a, done another one since I think the video maybe um, using some stickers. And I absolutely loved making these. And I had an email from a lovely lady, Mel. Hi, Mel. Who gave me a, a little bit of information about her property and asked if I would consider doing something mammal, animal related and bird related to go with this kit. And I just thought, I quite enjoyed the research, finding the wording and information on the botanical. So I thought I'd do the same for the birds and the mammals. And there are two new kits in my shop. Of course, you can use the current specimen kit if you already have that. You don't need to buy the new kits. But these ones are slightly larger. And this is just what's left, what I haven't used yet. Because um, there's a lot. There's a lot. I'll show you the kits now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the tags I've already made and then what we'll do is we'll have a look at um, making something with a bit of a difference for me, like I said. So I have created this one and this one is just stapled on the little um, bat there and that's the back. So that's that one and this is the back of this one and that's the front. So I actually sewed this into place before I glued the tag together on that one. Created this one with a little scribble on um, and that's just glued at the edge there. And that's the back. Then we have a little teeny tiny one where I've added a stamp. And for these kits I've actually done the um, a, a, ta um, a card as well as the tag. This is a little tag using a vintage stamp. We've got a little tiny, teeny tiny one, which is also different for this kit. And that's on a bulb pin. And then I did a little dangle using a couple of the, um, the embellishments. So that's the mammals. And then the birds, I've done, um, this was a little test actually, just to see what it would be like stamping on there. I think if I was gonna stamp, I'd stamp on the back. That's not really a finished tag. That was just an example. I've done one with the acetate over and this one I've put a feather in. Um, this was, I only use feathers that I have picked up from the ground in parks. I know all of my feathers are they're ethically sourced. Now I know a lot of websites say they are ethically sourced, so I don't use bird feathers that I've purchased. I only use feathers that I find, um, but I just thought it would be perfect with the acetate over the top, so I've used that. Um, this one, I love it. Lots of Tim Holt stamps I've used on these and some Ma Ma Mackie stamps. Um, there's this little one here. That's obviously the back, so that's the front and that's the back, but that's the pretty side. I've done another one where this one's just stapled on there. So these are the little catalogue cards rather than the tags. And then there's this little one with the stamp. And then there's this one as well, another little one. So I did a little, little ball pin one again. And then this one was quite a lot of fun. Um, this is a standard matchbox. It's not a purchased matchbox or a matchbox kit. It's just a standard matchbox that I've covered. And I've popped that on the tag and I've just covered it with some of the tags and I've put a few little birds in there. Um, I have an idea for this. I'm not sure if it will work. If it does, I will actually show you that in a video, but it won't be for a little while. So that's the birds. Um, and now I'm going to work on one of the bird 
catalogue cards. So let's get started on this. The first thing I want to do is add some stamps to this. Now I'm going to be adding, adding some splatters and things, so I'm going to be using an archival ink. And I thought it would be quite fun to combine two elements. The first element is I'm going to use the cats um, from Snarky Cats um, from Tim Holtz and one of the sentiments. I'm going to use, I know right from wrong, wrong is the fun one because I absolutely agree with that. And I'm going to use this cat, this cat here. So I'm just going to put those aside for a moment. Now I'm going to put my cat down on here. And I'm going to ink the top half of him. And I want him popping up from here. So I'm just going to give that a little... Now my ink is not as juicy as it used to be, so it might not be a perfect... Pr That's brilliant, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Okay, now the sentiment. It's not extremely black, but it's it's enough. And I'm gonna put this up here. Okay, like that. So now I'm gonna grab some of the um whoops. Some of the um which ones are these? These are the field note stamps. I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to take a baby wipe. So what I'm going to do to get the text in here, I'm just going to text the top half of this stamp. This is just to show you don't need loads and loads of stamps. You can use what you have and create something different with them. So I'm just going to go around the edge here with this baby wipe to make sure those black lines are not going to show. I don't mind if I wipe out some of the other text. It's not a problem. Once I've done that, I'm just going to hold it over this text area here and do a little stamp and push and then a little stamp and push. So it kind of gives the illusion that that's been handwritten. It's not perfect, but I don't mind that. Now I'm going to take the filed stamp go on to the red ink because I think you need a little pop of red in here and I'm still sticking with archival and I'm going to put that over the status box at the top of that brilliant and then I'm going to take a smaller stamp block big one I think I'm just going to Put this over here and let's take a big number I think we'll go for this one Oops. let's put that going to leave it as that for now. Now um, I've got some white and some black acrylic and my makeshift splat box um, and to be fair I've probably had this I made this probably I don't know two three years ago maybe it's getting past its sell by date but I'm just waiting for the right box to come along to make a new one. I'm going to put that in there put that in there now I'm going to go in with my white first. I've already put a little bit of water in here to make it a little bit more usable. Probably not enough actually. I'm just going to add a bit more there. And I don't have two splat blush brushes. I wish I did but I don't. So I'm just going to try my best. This is just hit and miss really what these brushes are like. Um, I'm just I'm just going to put a little bit of paper over him and I'm just going to put some splatters in. Happy with that. For my black, 
So for the black, I do actually have a splat brush. And we'll just lovely. Put that in my water, move those aside. I'm gonna give this a bit of a dry and drink some of my coffee while I'm doing that. Okay, so that's now dry. Dry, dry enough, <laughs> it's dry enough. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I just wanna give the edge of this an ink, but I'm gonna use my brush because I want quite a soft, I want quite a soft inking around the edge. And then once it's all glued together, I'll go round with the blending tool just to kind of highlight those edges really. What I have is I have some Tim Holtz birds. Um, these are the new, um, the new kit, the new set. Let me show you. They are these. And these came um, the day I was actually creating this kit and I just thought that might be fun to try and do something with these together. Um, this is not the kind of style that I usually um, usually do but I just thought these were so cool. I just wanted to have a little go with these on here. Um, and of course, I want a bird over here somehow. That's fun, that's fun. I was gonna put it in this space over here. Um, but I quite like that. He just looks like, yeah, like that, like that. Um, let's see if we can get a second one on here. Oh, just broke his leg. That's quite cool as well, isn't it? Yes, I'm liking that, liking that a lot. Right, grab my glue. I'll quickly put these into place. So that's what we have so far. I'm oh, really happy with that. I love it. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to glue these two together. I'm just going to glue this down. gone around that with the um, walnut stain but I've just decided I'm going to go around it again in black soot just to give that an even darker edge okay I think I'm going to put a little bit of stitching around here and we're done we are done I absolutely love it that side is my favorite so there's probably a million other things you could do. But like I said, this is not really the kind of thing I would normally do. Um, I think I've had this stamp set for, I don't know, maybe a year or two, two years probably. And I think I've used one stamp maybe once um, on a birthday card. And that's it. That's it. So it was nice to get that out and have a little go with that. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you like the other tags too. Um, I have several videos planned and lined up so i hope to be back really soon i will be back soon take care thanks for watching bye